Okay, folks, I'm off the road here quite a ways, exploring around, around what, it's a, what appears to be an abandoned house. Maybe not abandoned for long, but it uh, doesn't look to be being used. I thought I'd get you up just real quick here because I think I may see that. That to me looks like a marble here in the middle of the woods. That's exactly what it is. Check that out. That's a nice marble. beauty it's a nice little find to start the day off all right put that in my pocket try to get out of these woods well not at my designated uh, dig site folks but found an old patch of stuff here in the woods right behind some houses here actually I got to be kind of discreet here but there's uh, some old blown glass here as you can see nice blob top there applied lip nice greenish glass there all kinds of barrel rings a bunch of stuff up through there looks like somebody's been scraping in here already let's have a quick look while i got you up right here yeah this stuff's definitely been scraped up not too long ago Blown case gin. There's a Wyeth extract bottle. Bunch of glass in here, all old stuff. Huh? Yeah, they left that one. Well, it's broke. <laughs> That's probably why. Yeah, a bunch of old glass in here. Manganese pitcher there. That would have been cool. Yeah, lots of shards. All right, more stuff up and through there. Okay, keep looking around. Well, folks, I'm still here, and I just scraped up two bottles, but unfortunately, they're both broken. This is an E. Kinnerlin gin bottle. Check it out. It's a miniature. The lip is uh, busted up here. I'm going to keep that anyways, because that is very cool. A little miniature gin bottle. Must be like a sample. And the other find that come out right along with it is this Wyeth and Brothers malt extract bottle. And as you can see, the lips busted off that one as well. Hmm. All right. We're right in this bunch of stuff here. little mound oh, oh, there's something there oh, that one's broke too pity so much nice old glass in this patch here folks like 1890s and whoever was here before me was very thorough Let's check out this old shard here. I just scraped up. Apothecary shard by the looks of it. E.B. Shuttleworth. Toronto. Huh, maybe it's a chemical bottle. Nice little shard though. I might hang on to that shard. Put it in the old shards box. All right. Well, folks, I got one complete bottle right here. Check it out. Looks like a ketchup or sauce bottle of some sort. But it is embossed up here. I can't quite make out what it says right now. I think it's manganese glass as well. Sorry about that. I'm trying to. See what it says there. Oh, still can't make it out. Some sort of early screw top bottle. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'll keep that. Take it home and wash it up. Thumbs up!
Just scrape the two slickers up there, folks. A little medicine bottle. Right over here on the surface, I see. Check it out. Looks like a chest bro Vaseline bottle. Which it is. And it is also manganese glass. Normally I wouldn't take a chest bro unless it had some color and this one does so. There you go. Beauty. Purple chest bro Vaseline bottle. Pre-1914. Check this out, folks. Get it up here. Little uh, hand crank beater there. There's a date on it. I don't know how well you can make that out. August 22nd. And beside it is... The camera's not really picking it up. But it's uh, 1889, anyways. There we go. Oldie. All right, I'm at my intended destination here now, folks. And I haven't been here in well over a year, mainly due to all the no trespassing signs along the road where I normally come in. So I've today I decided to be a little bit bolder and park way down the other end of the uh, woods come up in through that way it's actually shorter but it's not a very good spot to park <laughs> but like i say i haven't been here in quite a while so i just started uh, i haven't got much out yet cobalt blue was the first thing and then this uh cork top mid unembossed bottle come out so anyways i just thought i'd get you up and i'll let you know that i'm here keep digging away first decent find right here folks just come out six side it black glass dish very cool nice no markings on it though but uh keeper for sure love it that is very nice put that over here i don't have my knapsack with me either i just brought a uh, plastic shopping bag <laughs> trying to be as discreet as possible here today all right, let's keep going. Okay, folks, I just scraped one up out of this hole right in here. See right down here. Pick it up and check it out. A Foss liquid fruit flavors, Portland, Maine. Portland, Maine. Can't rightly tell if that's blown or machine made. Almost looks like a crack in there, but I don't think it is. I think it's just the way it's made. All right, cool. Nice embossed bottle. First one out of the spot right here today. Let's keep going. Maybe there's lots more. Okay. Dang, folks. Looks like I might have a, a stoneware jug down in here. I thought it might be ready to come out, but... Well, yeah. got... Okay, <laughs> hold on. Before I pull that out, let's dump this out here first, too. It was right there with it. No, nothing in it. Okay, here we go, folks. Is it whole? Yes. Woo! I see there's a little chip right here. Oh, man, nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Uh. It's chock full of uh, dirt, but uh, I probably got a lid to fit that too. There's no lettering on it, but still. This place always has some good finds in it. Wow. All right. Uh, wow. That's nice. That's nice. Nice find for today. That uh, kind of made it worthwhile, huh? Anything else right there? Hard old digging. Okay, I don't see anything else right away. Okay, I'll get you back up on the next find.
Well, I'd like to get one more decent find out of here, folks, before I get out of here, because I really didn't find much here today. Of course, I haven't been here long either, but I've been hiking around and digging in them other spots there for about two hours, so I'm pretty much whipped here at the moment. But yeah, it doesn't look like nothing's coming out. Well, cobalt blue. Cobalt blue from the troubles. Little Vix. Okay, hold the phone, folks. I'm just on my way out. And uh, I stumbled upon another dump site here. Right off the surface, I see one up the gone blue one. Uh, there's another little round one. I don't know what else is in here, but I'll have to take note of it and come back later. It's right beside this great big rock here. What's under here? Yeah, look. I'm blown in a mold with an applied lip. Probably already been dug like everything else around here, but I get a few odds and ends out of it. Cool beans. All right. Well, I'm a sucker for digging, folks. I still haven't left. I just scraped up a cork top here, though. And it is edge embossed. Not sure what it says yet. Evaporo. Oh, there's face embossed as well. All right. That's something new. Evaporo. New to me. And it's blown, too. Pretty sure. Looks like there's an awful lot of stretch marks on that neck. See them there? Yeah, cool beans. Right on. Good day, YouTubers. Thanks for joining me here for another fantastic bottle digging recap. Okay. So in this old video, we basically visited three sites, and uh, well, each one turned out pretty good. <laughs> Let's just say that the first one was like in the uh, 1890s patch, early 1900s, and got some interesting stuff out of it. I wish I had got to it a lot sooner than I did because uh, somebody else had got to it before me. However, they did leave me a few interesting finds. Number one being this Curtis Brothers Preservatives bottle. And this is a Blue Label Ketchup bottle, is what that was called. From Rochester, New York. And it is manganese glass. Starting to turn a nice purple color. Very cool find. And also at that same location was this one here and I didn't include that footage in the video just for uh, the sake of time but it has like a grayish hue to it but I don't think it's manganese it might be time will tell but I think it may just be one of those gray colored bottles sometimes the manganese glass looks like it's gray as well but then it gradually turns to a purplish color Now next up at that same site, I was quite excited about this actually, even though it is uh, chipped up here off the off the lip. It's an E. Kinderlin little miniature gin bottle. How cool is that? Anybody ever seen one of those? It's like a little sample bottle. Very neat. And it is blown in a mold as well, folks. It's an oldie. Here's another little, uh, just a slick blown in a mold bottle. I'm going to try to get through this stuff fairly quickly because I think the digging portion was about 13 minutes long and I'd like to keep these under 20 minutes if I can but uh, we'll see what happens. Vaseline, Chesabro, New York. Another nice little manganese glass jar. You can kind of see the purple light right in there now. Check it out. Okay. Um, what else we got here? This shard here. Check out this shard. 
Look at the metallic sheen on that. I could clean it up a little better there, I think. But uh, anyways, check it out. I've salvaged a couple of these shards for the shards box. Does anybody know what type of glass that may be referred to? Can anybody put a name on that? Beautiful looking stuff. And the second shard was this E.B. Shuttleworth shard, and it is a chemical company, Limited Toronto, New Brunswick. And we're looking at uh, like the mid-1890s for this one. Very cool looking shard. First time I'd seen one in this area, so I thought I'd just hang on to it and put that in the shards box as well. Now, before I actually got to that site, I was looking around at another site and uh, looking around for another site actually and located this lovely marble in the woods it was behind what appeared to be an abandoned house. I'm surprised there wasn't more there, but uh, that was the only one I'd seen. Nice red and blue marble. Anybody know what type of marble that might be? Like a vitro? I don't know much about marble, so don't really know anything about them. <laughs> so I could use some help in identifying that stuff. Thanks in advance. Thumbs up. <laughs> okay, folks. Then I reached my intended destination. Before we get into that, I'm going to have a smash of this drink here. My intended destination. I think the first thing we pulled out was this black glass little plate here, saucer. Very cool. I'd found some other black glass in that area, that same site last year, like a broken cup or something. Very interesting. Maybe there's some other pieces there as well. Then, of course, we got this lovely stoneware jar here, whatever we want to call it. It is all cracked up, which is too bad. And this, uh, chip out of the lip, but I can fix that easily. That's no big deal. But it's always nice to dig up some stoneware. Always nice. I was excited to dig it up. Still haven't got a good uh, ginger beer yet this year, but still working on it. Still time. Time is running out though, folks. Getting near fall here. Foss Liquid Fruit Flavor, Portland, Maine. This one is machine made, and I would say that's probably dated like around the 1920s, somewhere in there. Nice little bottle. And this is a big old perfume bottle. Couldn't get it cleaned very well because of narrow opening on it there. But uh, these come in a few different sizes as well. Mutual, it says on the base. Mutual. M-U-T-U-A-L. I didn't really look that one up, so I don't know anything about it. Just a little slick blue glass colored one there. A Waterman's ink. It's got the uh, consumer glass mark on it. I'm guessing it's probably from the late 1920s, early 30s. This piece here, folks, says baby on it. I think you can see that in there. B-A-B-Y. Anybody know what that might be? Put it in the comments. And speaking of comments, uh, always leave a thumbs up too, folks. <laughs> leave a thumbs up. Thank you very much. It's a little uh, cobalt blue Noxzema. I got a few other cobalt blue ones out of there too, but nothing really to show. And then finally, folks, as I'm leaving that site and on my way back to the vehicle, I located another little patch of stuff, cans and bottles, and I got this one here out of it. And it is blown in a mold, and it is Evaporo, which is some sort of fabric cleaner. And it comes out of Rockland, Maine, down here. It says, made by Evaporo Incorporated, Rockland, Maine. Very cool bottle, first time I'd found one. I don't think I have any other bottles from Rockland, Maine, so that was interesting. i got to get back to that site and do... Some more digging. All right. So that's going to be it for this one, folks. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.
stay tuned uh, for upcoming videos. We've got some good ones coming up. See you there. Have a great day, everybody.